Have you ever had your airbrush just, no matter how well you clean it out, no matter how well you have your air, airbrush set up, you've thinned your paint you've done everything you can possibly do it's an older airbrush and it just is worn out and you cannot get it to um, atomize the paint maybe it's time to rebuild it the simple way I rebuild mine and instead of buying a whole new airbrush sometimes you know it's a little bit cheaper like 50 60 dollars you can rebuild one maybe even less doing it this way I mean I'm sure you can get even deeper into it and replace o-rings and everything else inside the brush and everything but usually your problem happens between the needle and where it seats into the nozzle here so what we're going to do is we're just going to open up our airbrush I'm going to show you how to rebuild one we're going to take off the back to start off with we're going to go ahead and pull out our needle let's go ahead and Take off this whole front part here. Just unscrew it from the big part. There's a wrench that comes in the kit. You can just take that off with. 0.35 millimeter nozzle. Okay, we're gonna take that nozzle, this, and the needle are what causes your paint to spray properly. So if this, if you've shoved this needle in there real far and over the years you've Waller out this hole here and it's just it wears out the airbrush to where it spits all the time that's usually where the problem is so what I'm gonna do is I generally just replace all this this is all brass I mean it could it could be losing it you know sealing a well up to the airbrush right here uh, the needle could be a little bent too if you haven't just replaced the needle try that but if I'm rebuilding it I replace both of these parts if you do that it almost always fixes my problem and I've only had to rebuild mine once on this airbrush that I'm using here. This is the Iwate Eclipse, HPCS by the way. So usually you can order them from Iwata or Hobby Lobby is where I got my parts. And I've got a new needle and nozzle. So we just opened it up. Place our new nozzle in and then we'll get the matching needle it's made for your eye water eclipse if you don't know just ask it should be the same the 0.35 millimeter go ahead and put our airbrush back together it's literally that easy <laughs> and nine times out of ten that will repair your spitting airbrush that you cannot fix any other way like that's that's whenever things need replaced it just got wore out I almost bought a new airbrush I said you know what let's just try putting a couple new parts in it and this has worked for me so I'm just hoping it'll help someone else